part two of Dear Us. Let's talk about something real quick. I've noticed a lot of people complain about the looting and the rioting going on. My people with the targets and shit in Minneapolis, the businesses getting destroyed. We just, we can't believe it. Apparently, we've never seen it before. It's bullshit. Let's talk about Black Wall Street for a second, right? Let's talk about what happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma back in 1921. For those of you who don't know, my own people, go Google. Go type in Black Wall Street. Make sure you read that story in its entirety. I'm going to give you a quick breakdown. So, Black Wall Street was a, was a, I think there was, it was either in Tulsa, Oklahoma, or it was right outside in Greenville, o Oklahoma. I might be wrong on that. But it was one of the most successful black-owned businesses slash pieces of land there's ever been in the, in the United States history. They had everything from their own commercial planes to meat markets, churches, dentist's office, doctor's offices, whatever. You name it, they had it. They were thriving. They didn't need us. They lived their life. They didn't bother nobody. They uplifted themselves. They thrived off themselves, which is how it should be. But one day, a white woman who happened to work on the elevator made the false claims that a young black man sexually assaulted her. There was no court dates to my, to my knowledge. He was thrown in jail. And the Tulsa, Oklahoma paper ran that story that next day, insinuating there was going to be a lynching that night. So few black men decided to, to uh, keep safe of the young black man who was accused, falsely accused of raping this white woman. And there was a mob of angry white men who decided to go and try and take the life of this young man unjustly. Well, they were killed in the process. The black men wasn't having it. They were killed. Now, what came next was the sickest events I've ever heard of personally in the United States history outside of slavery. There was police that was militarized. There was bombs that was dropped on top of businesses. White people lined up on the state line, women and kids, as if this is some spectacle to watch. There were people ripped from their homes and hung and beat and killed from their families because the color of their skin. There was businesses that was looted, set on fire. They stole the planes. They did every fucking thing that you see happening in Minneapolis. They did that shit back in the 20s. And nobody said a fucking word. You want to know how I found out about that shit? My homeboy had to tell me ages back. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have known. Why? Because we hate bringing up shit like that. Well, we want to celebrate Memorial Day, Independence Day, Veterans Day. We want to, we want to acknowledge these old wars hundreds of years ago, which is nothing wrong with that, by the way. I'm not complaining about that. What I am complaining about is it's funny how we pick and choose what the fuck we want to remember. And that's frustrating as fuck. And if you want to know why there's a disconnect between black folks and white folks, it's because of you stanky motherfuckers with that type of attitude, with the selective memory that you have. That's why we don't give a fuck about what happens in Minneapolis. Quite frankly, it's long overdue. The shit probably should have happened way before now. But again, they had patience. They tried to work with us. They tried to reason with us. They tried to peacefully protest. We told them to shut the fuck up. Use their platform for something different. Colin Kaepernick took a knee for these same exact reasons. He was told essentially to get up off his knee and play football. He was blackballed from the league later for peacefully protesting. We're, they're told to shut up and dribble whenever they choose to speak out against social injustices. So let me ask you this, white people. When the fuck is a good time for them to make their voices heard since we got all the answers? Riddle me that, Batman. Tell them when the good time is to let their voices be heard, to peacefully protest. Because we sure as hell don't have a problem in taking liberties and protesting our damn selves when our own privilege is getting uh, uh, terminated or threatened or whatever. For instance, the coronavirus. We had these stay-home orders. White people couldn't stand it because their privilege was threatened. We couldn't get our hairs done. We couldn't go to the movies. We couldn't go out to eat. So what did we do? We took our automatic rifles. We got fully armored. We walked through government state buildings, through streets. We were yelling in the face of police with automatic rifles in our hand. We didn't get tased. We didn't get shot. We didn't go to jail. We got to go home. The same fucking shit that we complain about black people doing, we did when our privilege got threatened. And that is so irritating. I'm sick of that shit. I'm sick of watching you motherfuckers come up with excuses. Oh, what about black on black crime and this, that, and the third? We got to fix everybody, not just them. No, motherfucker, we got to fix that shit first before we fix anything.
because they didn't ask to become slaves. They didn't ask to be ripped from homes and home because the color of their skin. They didn't ask to get, uh, uh, they didn't ask for social injustices. They didn't ask to get fucked in the justice system because the color of their skin. They didn't get asked to get fucked when it comes to getting loans for houses or starting up the business because the color of their skin. That shit came because we've been whitewashed. We've been brainwashed since the beginning of time that we are pure and black isn't. You watch TV shows, movies, read books, whatever. 95% of the time, a black person is either the villain, a criminal, or some kind of violent figure. We paint them as if they're animals, and we treat them as if they're that. And then when they start finally speaking out and, and, and shit gets real, finally, now all of a sudden we want to play victim. Again, like I said in my last video, shut the fuck up. You either gonna take from the pile or you ain't gonna do shit at all. Let me say this too, by the way, on that note, before I close this video out, your silence when all this shit goes down is a hell of a lot more telling than people who are vocal about their racism. Because you're just as bad as them motherfuckers for not speaking out about it. Anyways, I'm off my soapbox, man. Y'all take care.